to Breck. He's got peaches today. Mm. Yeah. I want to know how you picked the right peach. That's what he's going to show us. The squish Ask test. Ask and you shall Squish test. That's what I want to talk the about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We're going to taste a peach. We're going to, how do you grow a good peach? Now, Dan had, what did you say? It was manure? Is that your secret ingredient? Yeah, yeah. You got to have the right dung in that manure. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I'm joined here by Thane Taggy. If you know anything about Brigham City, you're driving along the highway. You see the fruit stands, the Taggy, famous fruit stands. But also, I live in Mill Creek, and yeah. we have a fruit stand down there. It's yeah, Taggy's. we like to bring some down to Salt Lake. It's a little bit of a drive. You can get a good taste down there. If you want to get real serious, you need to hit you the gotta road to get up, up here. here. Yeah. And you said it's been a good season for people. It has. When it got cool there, the cell growth on those early, on the early beginning of those peaches was really nice and important. Held it through this hot area. Look at the size and the quality. Oh, and I've tasted one, and they are so sweet. Okay, let's first talk about, of course, this weekend. Peach Day is going up at Brigham City. Starts tonight through the weekend. What makes Brigham City, this area, such a good area to grow peaches? We don't freeze out a lot. Okay. We've got a lot of factors. We've got the mountains facing to the, to the west. We've got the lake effect. We've got the canyon breeze coming down. We've got rockier soil. And all those things combined make the perfect peach. Perfect ingredients for that. And it's not the manure. No. We, we are high tech. We fertilize through our drip systems. Okay, Dan, you're kind of an Dan, amateur you're with out, that manure You're out on thing. that one. All right. So what's on right now? You mentioned the variety of peaches. What's a good peach going on right now? Okay, well, you hit it right on this year. It doesn't happen. Early Alberta. Look at that early. Some people call them lemon Albertas. They're yellow. Ooh. And look, look at that. They're a really tender peach. They bruise really easy. But I promise you, if you got a bottle of peaches from your grandma, this is what she was doing because they asked for them specifically. Okay. Now, what, how do you pick a good peach? Okay. You've got it. You, it's all about the color and then it's all about the feel. Like you were filling them. Uh -huh. You get up there and you know this is ready. This has even a little bit of bruise, but look, oh, oh, look at that. Juice come out. There. Now, I want you to show them, Breck, how that pills. Okay. This is why grandma. Grandma loves these peaches. Look at Look that. It kills right off. He hasn't even blanched it and he's just pulling it off. Oh my and goodness. these were picked yesterday. And that's what makes the early Alberta so famous. Now, maybe not the prettiest peach, so people eat with their eyes. This is a Suncrest. We literally have like five varieties on right now, which wow. is kind of a big deal. I love it. And this one's right on and it's so good. Now, I'm taking these back. You said I could take these boxes. Yes, I'm going to give them to you. Now, am I taking these back to the station? Carrie, how many peaches do you need for a good peach milkshake? I need at least two, Breck. For if one? I'm making one okay, peach two. milkshake. There we go. For just yourself. Yeah. And then one, one, and then, and then we're gone. We'll see you. Wow. Two peaches. See, yeah. And then Breck's taking the rest? That's I should have asked for more. Yeah. Security! That's how it works. That's how it works. That's